but you'd be surprised at how many people don't do it. Yeah. Get this we, far. Me. <laughs> I'm about to walk away. Do you want to finish the video by yourself? What's going mm -hmm. on, everybody? My name's... I almost said Jake. My name's Emily. And I'm Emily. <laughs> Husband. You're dang, I'm right, you yeah, are. Ow. Anyway, you clicked on this video, and you're probably like, wow, I just got into college. How am I going to be successful? And we're here to tell you, we got you. We got you, kind of. Because I'm still figuring it out. Some of these I need to practice what we preach. But <laughs> you do. I, I'm looking at these I notes. I made the list, if we're going to be honest. Looking at these notes, three of the four are for me. <laughs> so, uh -oh. today we're going to give you four tips and tricks. Hold on, let's take a time out. You're a little sweaty. You're sweaty. You're sweaty. My goodness. I'm sweaty. We're anyway, going to give you tips and tricks on how tips. to be successful at UGA, but honestly, like, We've only gone to UGA, so that's why we're kind of saying UGA, well, but really it applies to any college. Gone only to UGA. I've gone, this is my third college. Okay. Anyway, um, this applies to any college, wherever you are. We hope you have a great first semester or second semester or, or whatever semester, it is semester you're in. whatever you're in. I'm in like my 48th because I feel like I've been in school for 15 years. You're going to go kill it this year. Um, so make sure you like and subscribe. We'll come out with a whole bunch more. Call it this is his last year of college. So we'll come up with all the college videos that we can before we are graduated from that. Yeah. Um, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But today we're here to tell you our tips and tricks of how to be successful. All right, step number one, it's kind of obvious. But you'd be surprised at how many people don't do it. Yeah. So step number one, go to freaking class. Go to freaking class, y'all. You are paying a butt truck of money <laughs> <laughs> to get an education. Like, get your money's worth. Yeah. Go to class. Like, you're paying for these classes, you're paying for the interaction, you're paying to be in person, you're paying to basically get the opportunity to impress your professor. You, and then you're just you not need gonna go. to take advantage, especially in the classes that are pertaining to your major, not necessarily your like the core class. I mean, of course you need to go to those, but like for your major classes, you need to go every single day. Yeah. Not and only because you it's your major, to... but like my biggest tip is like go talk to your professors these aren't yeah. high school professors they're not middle school, high school like teachers okay um but they like they're teaching college because they care and like they are educated in this topic they love college students and they actually take the time to talk to you like give you advice and at the end of the semester if you're struggling or like before a test if you're struggling like and they know who you are because you've talked to them before they are 10 times more helpful and want to help you want you to be successful um so yeah go to class go to those 8 a.m's and not only so just to build on that at the end of the semester if you've also interacted with your professor and you've done a really good job about showing up and doing your work and all that you can get a solid letter of recommendation like they can help you get a job they can help you get that internship they can help you along in that major that you're going into and they can help you, like if you're going for a doctorate, they can help you with your dissertation. Like yeah. they can help you with a whole bunch of stuff. You just gotta get that interaction. You've got to build that relationship. For um, PA school, I needed a professor for a letter of recommendation. And um, shout out to my guy. I know he wrote me like a bomb letter and hopefully it's gonna get me into PA school. But like it's stuff like that that you don't think about until junior, senior year when you could have already been building a relationship with your freshman professor. Yeah. So. But you can't do all that if you don't go to class. Can't. So like we said, and step number one. Look, you booked your 8 a.m.s. You booked that 9.55 p.m. class. Like, go to it. Yeah. Go to your class. So like we said, step number one, go to class. And this is kind of like UGA related. I'm not sure where it is everywhere else, but plan to walk to class because these buses from August to like October, November, are insane. Like, and it also you does not, not get help ride. that every single route changed from COVID. Yeah. So before COVID, they had the same buses like since years, yeah. the whole bus system started. 
Yeah. Like, you hear horror stories about Orbit. But that's gone. There's That's not a thing anymore. No one knows what bus to get on. No one knows where the bus is going. So when you leave your dorm or your apartment, plan to walk to class. Give yourself that time to walk just in case you miss a bus. Especially for you freshmen. It's going to happen. your core classes are all over the place. You yeah. got classes it's on the happen. North Campus. You got classes that by the SLC. You got classes by Tate, the MLC. You're going all over campus. So walk. You got to like- Get you an Apple Watch yeah, and get you gotta, your steps in. You've got to give yourself that time to yeah. get to class, so. All right, that's tip number one. All right, so steps number two and three kind of go hand in hand with one another. Um, these are the two most important ones that really pertain to me because I'm really bad about staying on top of things because, you know, I, us guys, we, uh, you know, we just kind of go with the flow for the most part. Whereas her, she like plans when she's going to go to the restroom throughout the day. Like, so <laughs> we, so <laughs> building on top of that step or tip number two, stay organized, stay organized, get yourself a calendar, get yourself a planner, get yourself, get yourself a yourself book bag that allows you to get like your things organized. Like such whatever a you find most helpful, go get that invest in it because we like you can't serve the human race cannot survive without staying organized and your freshman year is really crucial oh, because it's so crazy. you this is when you learn it, it's a slap in the face like how to be an adult it's a slap Truly. in the face so personal story for me is i glided through high school i i didn't need to study i just kind of took tests i didn't do homework or anything like that i just literally mm. never studied mm. For the most part um and when you get to college you literally can't do that yeah. i mean you, it may work for your core classes but in the other classes especially like your math courses and stuff like that it does not Ooh. fly like that yeah. you you have got to give it the time of day you have got to give it that attention that it needs you have got to stay organized and in those the professor's rule like uga's rule is if it's a three-hour class and you do it three times a week that means nine hours of outside time that you're spending on it because they're expecting you to spend like three times. Have you heard that? Yeah. Three times the hours like that it's worth. So it's a four hour credit class. Then you're expected to spend 12 hours outside of class like working on this, which is insane. Yeah. But like it's college. Welcome to college. Yeah. So just... that's the second one. The third one is kind of personal but everyone i've talked to like by senior year we have the biggest regret is that freshman year like oh i study best writing it we write all of our notes well these professors are like mad speed crazy fast talkers you miss so much information writing stuff down i'm always like making buddy buddy with my neighbor like what what did she just say what did she just say because I'm, like, that's so a side lost. tip if you ever have to miss a class like if you don't follow step get yourself one, a friend yeah have yourself like a fallback buddy <laughs> yeah. and like have them take notes and um, just make sure so anyway <laughs> writing is like not the way to go i learn best writing so what you do is take notes on your computer then go home and write them spend those three hours a day rewriting your notes because you just can't get all the information down or if class. you're like me and you fat finger every key on the computer board i computer board the keyboard do like i do and do voice memos and literally That's voice true. record the entire lecture anyway i recommend using one note for all of my powerpoints mm. which you you do it too i don't use one note anyway notability is where it's at okay notability yes is great but it also costs money free is one note what you do is you go in and add your powerpoint like a pdf <laughs> and upload your powerpoint like to one note before class that's the key is before class and then during class just type out your notes beside your powerpoints and then when you're studying, you literally have like the PowerPoint and what the teacher said side by side, you'll never fail an exam. Can y'all tell she was a goody two shoes in school? Can y'all tell who was successful and who wasn't? Anyway, so that's just my tip. Computer's always faster. Like just rewrite them at home. You don't have time in class. All right, and tip number four mainly pertains to those who are just going into college, whether it be you're transferring in or you're just now like you're an incoming freshman. freshman you know i'm gonna throw this away because you know we don't need it don't worry about making friends because like look we're all here for the same reason we all like 
it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It doesn't matter what you smell like. I mean, kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't stink. But we're all we're literally all here for education. We literally are all mindless people walking around, going to class. We are not judging anybody. Like we're all out of breath walking up the hill to North Campus. Oh, yeah. Like so, it, it doesn't matter. All of us matter. girls try and hide it after all the steps of North Camp. Like we're all out of breath and. I know it's hard for us to get through our heads like girl talking, but we're all worried about ourselves. We don't care that the girl beside us is in a dress and high heels and we're in pajamas rolled out of bed. We're all just worried about ourselves and getting through this first semester. So do not think that people are judging you because they, they probably didn't even see you walking down the street, like to be honest. Yeah. You'll never run into them again. The people that you're going to be friends with aren't the people that you walk by on North Campus. It's going to be the people that end up you're in not gonna re your, really meet. Classes. Yeah, you're not gonna really meet your friends until after sophomore. I'd say year. like junior year. Yeah. yeah. Once you start taking the classes that are actually in your major, so you, I didn't start taking risk management courses until I was a junior. That's when I met the people that were in my major, and you like, you won't know it in the first class, but yeah, like you'll have maybe two or three classes a semester that are all like prerequisites for classes later on in it's the major. It's familiar faces. Yeah, it's familiar faces, faces and yeah. like you'll you'll tend to gravitate towards those people and those are the people that you, your you tend to rely on and they yeah. rely on you and you know, y'all help each other. So, yeah. so basically, um, do not worry when you just start college or starting a semester brand new and all your friends like left or moved away. No. Do not panic because we're all in the same boat. Right. And you're gonna kill it. Exactly. So That's just, advice. just focus on yourself. Yeah. But and stay organized. Those are like, please. Yeah. Those stay are, organized, please. How about you? Your mom. Um, anyway, um, those are basically our four tips for survival. Yeah. That, uh, that's kind of what we've done to get this we, far. Me. <laughs> I'm about to walk away. Do you want to finish the video by yourself? Anyway. No, get off, get off. You, you, you're going to no. be so successful. You are going to be so successful. You are going to kill it this semester because you're going to take those four, <laughs> those four tips into account. Um, so anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video. We made other videos for tips, like specifically for um, freshmen. And so make sure to watch that. And we hope you have a great night or yeah. day or morning. Whatever, whatever time Wherever you're watching, you're watching this, this yeah. Go watch all of our other videos too. They're and a blast. Last but not least, go dogs. Go f and dogs. All right. See you in the next one.